Knowing my strengths, knowing my talents, and seeing how they show up on me, well, it's done a lot. It's from a great side, the things that were already going well, it's helped me lean into those proudly. Personally, it's given me permission. It's allowed me to give myself permission to really live into who I am in a stronger way. So getting to know them in a really deep level is, is great in so many ways in life, in personal life, in work life. It, it works like a holistic piece, but it just gives you the self-awareness and the language and the lenses through which you think about yourself to be able to become more of who you are and really add your value to the world. It's changed my life for the better. It's given me confirmation and affirmation to what has lived intuitively within me for many, many years since I was young and had no idea what I was going to do in life. It's changed my life. Um, professionally, it literally changed the course of my career. I've got to know myself more and the ability to articulate it to the people around me, my coworkers, my boss, my family. Um, I know that I eliminated some disruption in my house when I understood my son better. Um, maximized versus competition. Just those small things around, I know who I am. And I think the biggest thing for me is understanding that not everybody's going to approach it like I do. It's helped me recognize that there are strengths and things that, that often in life I might have been told that I, I'm, uh, it's something wrong with you or it's, it's not, not it's something that's not great. Actually to realize actually it's a strength and be able to harness that and move it from perhaps being raw in some places to really focus it uh, and achieve my goals. And particularly around when, I, when I'm very conscious of it and I think about a piece of work I've got and I think about my strengths, I've found I've been great success at achieving them. Strengths have changed my life. I've got to pause for the goosebumps. The, uh, um, in a very profound way, uh, I always knew that I was high energy. I always knew that I had a connection and a passion for people. Uh, and then when I read Woo, Winning Others Over, and uh, uh, naturally talented at breaking the ice. I thought about my role as a, uh, uh, as a faculty member with the Staley School of Leadership Studies. And I make a commitment to get to know every one of my students by name, uh, even if I'm teaching a class of 120 students. Uh, and so knowing people's names is important to me, but that's also my woo in action. To say, hey, if I know your name, I can engage you in the conversation that we're having today uh, and so then the woo and the maximizer, uh, the positivity, uh, uh, all those strengths play into my role as an educator. And the adaptability strength really gave me permission to lesson plan, but it also allowed me to throw the lesson plan out when it didn't meet the needs of my students, depending on the, uh, the, the week. Uh, and so I default to my, my strengths uh, uh, more so than I default to authority. Because at the end of the day, if we're, if we're all living our strengths, uh, that should be the one authority that we follow because uh, we're living our natural way of thinking, uh, feeling, and behaving. So it's, it's been life changing. I have to speak about the thing that impacted me the most over the past few years, I had cancer. I had known a little bit about my strengths before cancer but I really leaned into them, in, in particular um, positivity. So you feel like you've lost control of so many things, and yet my positivity uh, gave me that hope of, you know what, this is, this is a season, and I, I really believe that it was um, my positivity that was given to me to tell me, you can do something other than let cancer define you, you can be something beyond that, so you can't stop the fact that you have cancer, you can't stop the fact that you have treatments. What is it that you can own? What is it that you can um, be all yours? And it was my attitude.